Welcome to Spotted Dosage. Today we're covering an interesting topic. We're talking about power dynamos. Before we go any further, hit the subscribe button, like, and share this. This video and broadcast has been brought to you with the complements of AM tours, AM tra transfers, and tours. Of course, AM Transfer and Tours run a tour operating company in Livingstone, where you can vis visit the best tourism destination in the tourist capital of both Zambia and Southern Africa. So, down in the description box below, you'll find the contact details if you want to visit Zambia or Southern Africa, particularly Livingstone. Yeah. So, as I said earlier, we're talking about power dynamos. What have they done right to win the Zambia Super League this season? That Keep in mind that they haven't won this same championship since 2011, and uh, this is more like 12 years, 11 years in between since, since they won last the Zambia Super League, which is rather interesting. So what have they done right this time around? Of course, they, they worked around they worked around and building a proper team, but the whole genesis started off with the bringing in of Mwenya Chipepo, and it really worked out well for them. Mwenya Chipepo came on board, brought a more uh, conservative, reserved, and at the same time explosive style of, style of football. Of course, this came at a point where there is the revelation of uh, Jackson Mulambia and uh, Joshua Mutari coming in. Now, <coughs> the creativity of those two, not enough to say they, that's where they won the league, but it's just a culmination of what they did right in order to win the league. <coughs> of course, they went on to invest in bringing in the experience of uh, Aaron Katere. Now, Aaron Katere came in and most of the Power, power Dynamos fans uh, were rather skeptical about his transfer deal and why they brought him. People were saying he's old, uh, he can't play any more competitively and all that. But this came on board, provided good cover for the defense, but that very well with Austin Bakodila. Over oh, two hours, they say, if you want to win a championship, have a very good defense and goalkeeper. You want to win games have a very creative department in getting you goals and the strikers. Now, in terms of getting the strikers, they had Kennedy Musonda, of course, at the genesis of the 2022-2023 season. But he went on to leave for the runners-up of the Craft Confederations Cup, which is a Young Africans Sports Club. Now, here's the funny thing on how they actually worked out very fine. If it was any other and foreseen proper business handling, they could have gone on to crumble and lose form. But after they lost Kennedy Musonda to young Africans, they went on to bring in someone who's basically, I would say, the best transfer business done in Zambian football currently, Andy Boyeli. He came in, of course, he won the Top Scholars Award uh, with 17 goals, and he's the current Zambia Super League Player of the Year. Imagine that. They are the champions and they have the Zambian Super League player of the year in their squad, which is rather very interesting. And why I say so, like the best business transfer deal done in the Zambia Super League because he came in to fit in like just a glove, a hand in the glove, perfect fit. He got the goals for them, got the, the assist for them, provided threats for them. Now, this was very important to say because Port Animals with Together Forest Rangers. In the league, uh, these are the teams that went on to have the best defenses. But in terms of getting uh, a striking and scoring goals, Power Dynamos really had a good source, really had a good score. Imagine Kedim on the left when uh, he, was lead, he was at 11 goals. Then uh, Boyeri came in and is all together with the goals that came with from Chambeshi Football Club with Power Dynamos, all together 17 goals. Meaning that they all had, they had a good sense of. Uh, winning games and uh, Joshua Mtale bringing in the assists with Mulambia coming in the midfield scoring goals for them as well. So pretty much a good team uh, in terms of winning the championship. But going in the Golf Confederations Cup, where do they need to touch? What, what do they need to do different right now? Because winning the league is just not enough to guarantee that they'll be successful in the Zambia and Golf uh, Champions League. Now, this is why they have to, like, what they did in the general transfer of bringing Boyle, they have to expand their further and consolidate their squad, add more defense co defense coverage, midfield, and striking department. Of course, it comes at a huge price, like, but we've seen uh, Board Dynamo's executive and the board show willingness to invest in the squad. So they'll do well to invest in the squad. Maybe they can 
it's a rather an, an audacious move. Maybe they can try to sign Christian Saili on loan or something like that. It's rather audacious though. But hey, it's, it's Zambian football auto play for. This has been Joseph Yose Michelle. Subscribe to this video, like and share with your friends. Thank you very much. Remember, this video has been brought to you with the courtesy of AM Transfers and Tours, the best tour operating company in Livingston, the tourist capital of Zambia.